the road map that I have prepared with uh, multiple batches. I have taken multiple batches, right? That's how basically we got to move. Yes, we will zoom it. We will zoom it. See, first one is basically software testing. Like in software testing, we have basics of we have basics of software testing. We have SDLC, software testing, testing techniques, debugging, test management, bug tracking, email report, communication. How many of you agree with that? We need communication. Type yes in the comment. We need to improve communication, right? Yes. All right. Amazing, amazing. Yes. So again, I have added additional knowledge. So as a manual tester, see, if you're if you want to become only software tester, this is not for a automation one. Now, right now, what I have seen is agile methodology, Scrum, and Jira knowledge is mandatory. How many of you agree with this? Just type M in the comment. Right now, agile, Scrum, and Jira knowledge is important. Right now, it is becoming additional knowledge is important. You should know at least now, right? Okay, so this is fresher. So my spelling mistake. There's a bug. So for your experience, fresher, yes, everyone should learn it. Yes. Okay, so see now important stuff. This is very, very important stuff. What you will be doing in software testing. You should know how to create a test plan, how to create test cases, test scenarios. See, there are a couple of spelling mistakes. Please avoid that. Uh, bug reporting, email report to stakeholders. How many of you send the reports? How many of you reports to your stakeholders? Me, Sunita is saying me. Anyone else? You send some reports to the, your stakeholders, right? Or someone is asking what is stakeholders? A stakeholders is a basically your product owner, your product manager, your even your manager is, a, is your stakeholder. Okay. A couple of folks are saying me. So root cause analysis, test efforts. Okay. And you should do at least one or two projects, guides, and add it to your GitHub profile as well as resume. Someone, someone from the last batch asked me, sir, I have created test cases. Should I add, add this also to the get, GitHub? I said, yes, you should add it because they will know that, yes, you know manual testing. That's all, right. RCA is root course analysis. We will discuss on this. This is when this is basically, uh, Sanket, you had any production bug? You had any production bug, Sanket? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. So whenever you have a, a production, uh, whenever you have any kind of a production bug, right? Generally, we will fill this template. This is nothing but a normal Excel file, or you can say normal document that we need to fold, which is root cause analysis. Yeah, bug leakage. You can say bug leakage. We can basically other things. Okay. So this was uh, about the software testing. See, in programming, I have basically told you Java is yellow. I have marked is important. In Java, we have to know core Java, collection framework, oops, threading, and design pattern. These are the five important core pillars for programming ones that you should know. And that we will be basically doing. And if you want to done, see, as a fresher, if you want to jump directly, then you can do that. This is what I have seen. See, how will you improve it? You, you can use hacker run challenges or educative. This website is very, very great for the improving your coding. This is how I have done it also. I'll tell you like how it can be done. See, if Another thing is, if you want to learn about manual testing, zero to two months are enough. Agree with this? How many of you agree that only two months are enough to learn manual testing concepts and projects? Just type yes in the comment. I will share the full, uh, this thing. two minutes are, two months are enough, right? To cover the manual testing and a projects. Yes. Right. Yeah. Okay. But I have seen six month, uh, long courses online. I have anyone seen six month long courses for manual testing. Anyone seen it? <laughs> yes. Yes. I mean, I can show you like there are multiple people, but I think two months are enough. I see one year also. So Akash is saying there's a one year for one year. I don't know what they are teaching in for. Okay. Okay. A anyways, we, so for API testing, how many of you have known this tool postman? Anyone? Yes. Okay. So postman, see now people have this uh, confusion that, uh, I know API testing manually and API automation. Okay. So these are two different things. Okay. API, API testing through manually is little different as compared to the API automation. Agree. Just type a in the comment. Do you provide projects in pro practice? Yes. 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 Agree with this. See. I told you right multiple times API testing manually is totally different. API automation is totally different. Okay. Whenever we say API testing manually, we generally use tools like postman, right? Uh, other things where we can write some of the minor scripts, but if we want more, if we want to handle more complex scenarios, 
And if we want to basically have more handling towards our API test cases, then we move towards the API automation, right? This is what my learning is. But let me tell you one important thing. Right now, people are hiring manual testers plus API tester combo. How many of you agree with this? How many, right? Yes. Okay. So how many of you agree with this, right? So if you are basically right now, what I have seen is manual testers plus, uh, automation, te uh, basically manual tester plus API testing is mandatory. So it is mandatory for all of us to learn API testing. Numbers. If you learn manual testing ma manually, that is fine. But eventually you have to go towards the automation. This is true. This is what my learning is. See, I told you right here, if you see API testing, everyone can learn it. Uh, if you want to move towards automation, then API automation is mandatory for you guys also. Okay. Uh, here, what I have told you is basically you need to do at least three to four project where you will have a different, different authentication. See, this is a little uh, theoretical, but to basically do some practice, right? See, I am a, I'm a person who basically work with projects. If you know the project, if you have done the real time project, then only you will know the concept. This is what my belief is. Okay. So in automation also, you have to do at least one to two projects and in Cucumber BDD, because see BDD right now is becoming very hard. People are using, using it multiple times. So you should know these concepts. Similarly, we have for web automation, Selenium rules here, even the like playwrights, playwright is coming, Catalon is coming, Sele Fibrous is coming. BDD is behavior driven development. Uh, it's one of the development strategy to develop your automation. I mean, it's basically made for software development. We are using for API automation. I'll discuss Kalki. Don't worry. Uh, here we have basically, you should do at least two projects. So what I'm telling you is this is one of the roadmap guys that you need to follow to become an automation tester, right? Where you should do at least here. If you see right, two projects you need to do and almost like three months is good enough for you to learn about this selenium. Okay. Generally, which I think, right. And if you think about programming, I think I have done, see programming is never ending. Coding, I, here I have written two months is enough. If you want to basically start with four Java or something, but coding, you have to do it regularly. Agree. Just type a in the comment. If you agree, all of you agree on this coding, you have to do eventually. I, I cannot type some time, right? If you're not good at uh, coding, then you have to do practice. That's what you have to do. See, this is API tester roadmap that you can follow along. I will share with you guys how you will see all the things. Okay. So this is it. And in mobile automation, debugging knowledge and other things that you can go through it. And CICD is most important things related to GitHub, GitHub. So see the yellow ones, basically I have done it. These are important stuff that you should know it. Okay. And after that, these are AWS basics and here SQL, I have basically added See SQL. Sometimes we need to be need to learn about because automation as an automation tester. Sometimes you have to work with DB. So SQL is important in performance testing. See performance testing is optional for you guys, but some somewhere throughout your career, you will basically work on it. And in the end, you will be basically fixing your resume, applying it, mock interviews, read and try, fail and try. Okay. Remember this thing, try, fail, try, fail and try again. Interesting, right? Just type I in the comment. If you find this interesting. How many of you find this interesting, this roadmap, right? Interesting, right? I want I from all of us. I, right? Yes. Okay. Amazing guys. Amazing. amazing. So see, this is what I have followed, right guys. I think this is almost like four to five months plan where if you pay attention, if you pay, uh, even if you follow this right with or without me, I don't care. But if you follow this, I am pretty sure you will be able to at least get few of these steps toward the automation. <laughs> Ravi is saying that uh, up in after four months, you will not leave. No, no, I will not. I have run multiple batches, Ravi. Don't worry on this. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Make sense. Clear with this, just type C in the comment. If it is clear now, okay, clear. All right. So some of the details, which I basically wanted to, this is one of the roadmap that I have prepared, which contains all the topics. 
I will share the slides with you. You can go ahead, note it down. You want to learn somewhere, some, you want to learn these content for somewhere, just do that, but make sure you print this and put it into your somewhere, somewhere on your wallpaper as of something. And this has basically worked for us. Okay. So, uh, for core Java, see this, see for uh, coding one, people are basically getting a fruit, right? So trust me, these are enough and they, they can be done easily. Uh, we can learn, uh, we have collection frameworks, oops, concept, threading, hacker and challenges that we can do. Right. And after that, you will be able to do it. Multiple people have already done it. Don't worry if you are, I will start from scratch. Don't worry on this case. Can we get the slides? Yes. I will share with you. See now is the important point. How many of you want to become, how, how many of you want to see what are the projects are important? Just type I in the comment. How many of you think, uh, do you want to know which are the most important, uh, project that you need to do to basically do, uh, crack that. Okay. Amazing. See, uh, for manual testing once you can do a login. So see, uh, here I have given you multiple examples. This is what generally I cover in my batches, which is a manual testing. Uh, there is, this is a login page. Uh, it's a AB testing website, open cart. I think this is one of the e-commerce website. Can we receive the slides? You will get it. Don't worry. Uh, this is one of the demo of an e-commerce website, right? This is a builder dot OI, which basically contains frame within the frame. So as a manual tester, I would suggest at least please write all the test cases for these kind of websites and put them into a GitHub profile and add it to your resume. Who will do that? Will, will you do that? Write the test cases and put them into a GitHub. Trust me, people see GitHub whenever they are basically doing, doing it. Whoever is saying yes, please make sure you do that. It is very important. See, uh, let me show you like how my GitHub looks like. Have anyone seen my GitHub? Yes or no? Anyone seen my GitHub? No. Okay, let me show, share with you guys. If you go to this link, right? Let me put it here. Let me put uh, here. Okay. So see, this is how I have created it. I'll tell you how you can create it, and you can put uh, all the projects in your repository. And the, trust me, it works very well because whenever someone is looking, right? Suppose I want to have this person promote. Okay. I will see that. Yes, he has worked on a couple of projects. So always push your projects to the GitHub. Okay. Similarly, API projects like they, uh, we have live project related to restful Atlantian, uh, one Imgur API upload O2 cover, right? GitHub docs, swagger ones and multiple postman collections. So these kind of projects that you need to work and that we will be covering even in our courses, right? Generally we learn in sprints. We have like a, a tools, which basically help us to do, uh, learning in a sprints because see, eventually you will be working in a live environment. Do you want, suppose you want to learn something. Do you want to learn in sprints? Just type yes or no in the comment. Agree, right? Yes or no? Yes. Let me see. You should be learning the things in a sprints manner, right? Where you should get all the knowledge. Like how the things are basically people are doing it. Yes or no. Right. So similar things we will be doing it. Right. And how our automation frameworks looks like we generally follow. See, this is for a web automation. Yes. In sprint, we have time limits. So generally we will follow the time limits also. So web automation frameworks generally should contain, should your, your framework, whenever you are creating, right. Suppose you're putting into your GitHub profiles. Make sure you have a page object model. You can use any language, Maven, TestNG, Allure report, Lombok plugins, Selenium grid handling, parallel test execution, browser stack, and cloud testing and support. This one, these were these important things that you should include in your automation framework, right? I'll tell you like how you can do that. Similarly, for example, through mind maps and other things, and this is how in IntelliJ, this is how you can basically do that. Similarly, playwright is also coming new where you can do the similar process like page object model. You can include other things also, right? This one you can do right for API automation, right? For manually testing the API, you should know how end to end life cycle works live. You have manually tested the APIs for examples, quizzes and interviews. This one you have to do, right? So similarly, this is automation framework. We have cucumber BDD, right? Jenkins that you should know. As well as for mobile also, you should know about it, right? Apart from this guys, very, very important thing is resume filtering, right? I have seen a night, 
90 percent of the people are getting rejected because their resume is bad how many of you agree with this just type a in the comment because your resume is bad you are getting rejected you even if you are good with the automation even if you are good with the interview you will be able to crack it but you are getting rejected because of your resume okay so ideally we should work on your resume create a resume that works help you to find the jobs there are linkedin methods where you can basically crack this right how to get a proper calls these are the things that you should know and learn more about it okay so this is it return notes so again in L we have a lms that basically where we cover return notes right and generally we have a group discussion generally like this there right now we are having okay uh, we have curated resume generally mock interviews i have taken multiple mock interviews i published on interviews here also and again i am including certificate of completion also if you want to be okay let me pull out 